Uh, someone left a comment on the video that I posted yesterday or the day before when I was sort of driving around um, that uh, it looks a lot like Mars. Well, actually, uh, uh, the Australian Outback does look a lot like Mars. Um, I should know. I've been there, of course. I had a cup of coffee with uh, Corey Good and uh, Bassaggio. We shared a bag of cheese and onion crisps whilst... Uh, in the canteen at one of these top secret establishments on Mars. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd show you this. This is uh, this is actually science fact, not science fiction. Like most of the stuff you hear on there, on the internet, uh, in this uh, in this sort of uh, in this field. Okay, so this you can see that's coordinates there. This is for the um, these are the coordinates for the. Uh, the Murchison Radio Observatory, and uh, it's tucked away out in the Australian outback. And uh, they have uh, a couple of different experiments. I'll just show you where that is in Australia. There we go. Can you see that? It's up here. The Murchison Radio Observatory. And um, I'll zoom in, and you'll see what I mean. It sort of gets progressively as we zoom in on the target here just as though we were uh, an enemy missile approaching you know, the sort of, sort of view you get through these <laughs> now doesn't that look a lot like Mars look at it, looks a lot like Mars doesn't it and here we go, now we can actually see the uh, the shape of the uh, the thing starting to form these are all, um, these are all large dish antennas Large dish antennas, very uh, very similar to the ones that um, I showed you in the previous video. The knot pine gap one. There's another one up here. They're arranged in a certain pattern. And uh, the Australian, the A S K A P. All these dishes are the Aus the Australian square kilometer array pathfinder so this is not actually the square kilometer array antenna these are the pathfinder antennas for it and they also run a, uh, a wide field array um, antenna which looks like a oh, lots of little uh, lots of little pyramids or um, and there's this other thing as well called edges that recently discovered I think the oldest galaxy that's ever been discovered uh, there was a bit of a bit of a thing in the press about it recently. But anyway, continue to zoom in. See what we can actually see. Oh yeah. So because uh, that's uh, oh there we go. That's what they look like. I think these are about 12 meters in diameter. These these uh, these dish antennas, and they're sort of dotted around dotted around the outback. Let's see, there's more of them here, here, all along here, and um, they're doing uh, they're doing some interesting uh, radio astronomy stuff. They're not doing any SETI, unfortunately, but uh, you can see how remote this is. And there's the actual building with all the with all the stuff in it that all these dish antennas are connected to, and. Uh, There's one right out here on its own. There we go. All these antennas here. So what I'll do is, um, it's it just that uh, someone left a comment saying it looks a lot like Mars sort of inspired this very quick video. So I thought I'd just show you, <coughs> I'll just show you the Murchison Radio uh, Astronomy. Um, uh, Radio Astronomy Centre. It's not actually open to the public. I can't remember what it's called now. Radio Observatory, Murchison Radio Observatory. That's probably it. And uh, I'll leave some links below to uh, the ASCAP and the, the Wide Field Array and um, the other experiment they've got running there called EDGES. And uh, you can have a look at that, being interested in spacey sort of stuff. As I said earlier, this of course is the sort of thing that's really going on out there. Um, nothing whatsoever to do with aliens. I mean, if you were going to have a secret base in Australia dealing with aliens and communicating with aliens, chances are it's going to be this one. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing like that, of course, is happening.
I did mention the other day, Woomera. You know, if you've got any flying saucers to test, that's where you'd be testing them. You'd be testing them at Woomera. You wouldn't be testing them at Pine Gap. Absolute drivel. Timothy Good should be wearing thinner underpants so that we can understand what he's saying a little more clearly because he's talking out of his backside. Okay, so there it is. And uh, I'll just zoom out again. I'll leave you with that. You can see how um, the Australian outback does look a lot like Mars. There's, there is vegetation out there, but it gets um, it gets more and more sparse the further in you get. I was only probably uh, 100 or so kilometres from the coast. This will be a little bit further. Australia is a very large country. I've driven across it a couple of times. It's sort of leave on Monday morning, get there Friday afternoon sort of thing, and that's a lot of hard driving. There we go. And there's uh, and there's Australia. All right. Well, I hope you found that uh, interesting. Um, uh, maybe I'll catch you again.